A bill introduced in the U.S. Senate today aims to help those potentially millions of Americans living with long COVID. That is symptoms, persistent symptoms that can range from mild to debilitating and last for weeks, months, or longer. Ten of your side, Stephanie Hudson is here with more on how and who this bill will help, Steph. Yes, yeah, Senator Tim Kaine, who himself has long COVID, introduced the bill today. I spoke with him and a Chesapeake man still dealing with COVID complications two years after he got it. Glenn Edwards is an avid road racer, but he can't outrun the damage COVID has done to his heart. Being uh, competitive, um, you know, it kind of holds you back a bit, but it is what it is at this point. Edwards has heart failure caused by COVID, which means he's had to slow way down. I knew where I was and now I'm not there and I want to be back there. Senator Tim Kaine can empathize. I tell people it feels like all my nerves have had just like five cups of coffee and they're just like ready to go. Kane's long COVID does not interfere with work or sleep, but he knows some are suffering to that point. According to the CDC, it can affect a person's heart respiratory system, nerves, cause fatigue and confusion. We need to do the research. We need to look at treatments and therapies. Kane says the Care for Long COVID Act would improve access to resources, educate patients and doctors, and accelerate research by centralizing data. I think a bill like this can do some good, but I think a bill like this also can send a message to people, hey, we believe you. We know this is real, um, and we're going to get to the bottom of it, and we're going to be helpful. The race to find answers will likely be more of a marathon than a sprint. And while Edwards would prefer some speed, he hopes endurance will get him and others across the finish line. Anything we could find out through through my experiences or anything that maybe even can help me is, is you know, greatly appreciated. I, I would be there tomorrow. The White House also unveiled a new COVID strategy today, which includes investment in emerging treatments for COVID-19, including for patients suffering from long COVID. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.